Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we are going to check out what might be the leading contender for a crappy movie, but a great table. This is Batman Forever, and we're going to do a full tutorial followed by a playthrough right here, right now, on Digital Victory. This is Batman Forever. You can find this table at VP Universe. Now where you download this, there's a comment section. And one of the comments by Zainsa said that when he was playing this, he forgot he was playing a virtual table. To me, that's one of the ultimate compliments. And I, I just think it's a fantastic compliment that fits perfectly. It is a very fun table. Now the object of Batman Forever is to complete all seven modes in the middle, all around the big question mark there and the, and the Batman logo. And when you do, you have a chance to get to the wizard mode in the middle, and that's called Forever. We'll get to how you do that in just a bit, but we'll talk about some of the standard elements first. We'll start out with the skill shot. The skill shot on this game is similar to Terminator in that it'll show you several selections rotating through, and when you launch the ball, that's what you'll automatically get. So you don't need to do any particular skillful shot to get it, but you just select which one you want. Myself, I always select start the Gotham event, and that's one of the modes there. All you got to do is complete seven modes throughout the game, and getting three free completions of it is, to me, invaluable. The thing with these modes is you don't have to complete them as far as finishing all the goals in order to light it up. If you start a mode, and then you just cradle the ball and let the time run out, you'll light up that mode. Obviously, you'll miss out on a lot of points, but sometimes it's worth it. The rollovers up top, you can see there's three of them above the pop bumpers, and they say bat. Very traditional rollovers in a pinball sense, in that they will increase your bonus multiplier. One unique thing about this table is the bonus multipliers go all the way up to 20x. Okay, they do cap out at 20x, but that's pretty cool. Now, obviously, going through those 60 times individually in order to get to that 20x is very difficult, but there is another way to get that, and we'll talk about that shortly. In addition to that, each time you complete the BAT letters, you also can relight this kickback on the outer lane, which, once you use it, it goes out until you relight it, and that's one way to do it. Now, up the ramp there, when it's lit, are the Mr. E Awards. Mr. E Awards are your basic pinball random awards. Okay, uh, you know, 10 million points, 20 million points, things like that. There are a couple worth pointing out though. One, light extra ball. Okay, that's always good. But one of the best awards in the whole game is it gives you the automatic 20x bonus. And that's an absolute game changer, especially if you happen to get it on the first ball. You can also be awarded one of those prizes when you select it as a skill shot. That is one of the skill shots, is one of those Mr. E awards but I've never seen one awarded at 20X. Usually, every time I've selected it as a skill shot, I get 10 million or 20 million. Eh. Now, there are two targets in the middle and two on the right that represent coins. And the coins are kind of like Two-Face when you have that coin with the head and the tail on it. In front of those targets are the insets which light up when you hit the targets. There's a good head coin and a bad head coin in front of each of those targets. Each time you hit, a good one here and a good one here, you'll light up the inset in the middle of the table here. If you hit the bad one on top and the bad one on the right, you'll also light the bad one there. What you get for these, the awards, are if you hit one and hit the other, you can light the kickback. That's pretty cool. If you happen to hit both good coins and light up the good coin there, that's going to award you a hold bonus which let's say you make 50,000 bonus on the first ball, you'll automatically get that because it's holding your bonus for the second ball. If you happen to hit both bad coins and get the bad coin lit up, that awards you an automatic 22 million points. Now, one of the objects of the game is to light up all seven of these bat signals. At any given time, one of them will be blinking in front of one of the lanes. You shoot it up that lane to light it up solid. Your goal is to have all of them lit solid. When you get them all lit up, you start what's called the Circus Countdown. Now the Circus Countdown is a countdown mode that starts at 99 million. And you gotta hit the right orbit, which is a fairly easy shot to hit. And when you do, you'll get that amount of points. But there's more to it than that. You'll also need all of those lit up solid in order to advance to the wizard mode forever. Now this table has a multi-ball as well. 
and you see the vertical up kicker there, the little saucer you can punch it in right there? Well, first you gotta light that up in order to start locking balls. You light it up by hitting all four of those cave letters. That's gonna light up that vertical up kicker to start locking the balls to the multi-ball. You lock three balls to start it, and when it starts, the jackpots are the left ramp there and the right ramp there. If you're able to accomplish that, shoot that middle ramp there, we call it the mini ramp, for a double jackpot. Once you do that, you can get the bat wing loaded and then it's gonna go start moving over and you gotta shoot it into that mini ramp again in order to get your super jackpot. So now let's get to the modes. There are seven modes that you see there and in order to start a mode, you have to shoot it up that right orbit when it's lit. Now, how do you light the right orbit? You do that by hitting these question marks here. You these, see these little green targets? Those have question marks and each time you hit one of them, it's gonna light that question mark up solid. When you get all four hit, that lights up the right ramp. You shoot it up there to start a, a mode. They call them Gotham events. You can also start the Gotham event on your skill shot, like I mentioned. So anyway, once you shoot it in there to start the mode, the mode will start. And these are the different modes that you see here up on the screen. And they're your, again, basic pinball kind of modes. Hit the target. They're all timed modes with one exception. The exception is the extra ball. This mode here is light extra ball, and that'll light up the mini ramp right there with the red inset. You hit that for your extra ball. All the rest are timed, and you just gotta hit different things, and you make points, and they can be pretty profitable, but some are very dangerous, and you don't need to complete them in order to have it lit up and move on to another one. Sometimes, if it's a particularly difficult mode, or Gotham event, I should call them properly. Anyway, the more difficult Gotham events, I don't even bother with if I get a chance to control the ball and cradle it, I'll just do that and let it time out. If you're able to complete all seven modes, you can move on to the wizard mode, which is forever, right in the middle with the blue light. But in addition to the modes, you also have to light up all seven of those bat signals and you have to have both coins lit up. But if you're able to do that, you'll start the final wizard mode, Batman Forever. Now, that is a four ball multi-ball. Okay, and it's got an extended ball saver. And the object during that is to load the bat wing and then shoot it into the mini ramp there for jackpot. It's very difficult though, because bat wing will be moving the whole time. If you're able to do it, you get major points, but it's very difficult and I'm yet to even get it started. So good luck with that. So what are the keys to Batman Returns? To me, there's two of them. Uh, the first is be discerning when working those Gotham events. Uh, some are well worth chasing and worth a lot of points, and others, particularly the cave letters, I just recommend cradling that ball and holding on to it till it times out. Number two is get good at the ramp. The left ramp there, and that right ramp, and that mini ramp, those are the keys, especially if you happen to snag that 20X bonus. That 20X bonus makes those ramp worth 20 million each, just for hitting it up a ramp and you can get a good groove going, get one after another, and score huge points without getting into much danger at all. Those are my tips on Batman Forever. It's an awesome game. Now, 700 million will net you a free game. That's my goal. I'm gonna try and get that special knock that we all love so much. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Standard rules selected. And we're gonna hold off for that start Gotham event for the skill shot. Now the event is complete. I only got one of the jackpots, but that's okay. Still made 30 million out of it. I'm at 55 million. And if you look, that right orbit is lit up again. So uh, let's bump it over to the left side here. See if we can't get another one started. No, I missed it. 
There we go. What do we got? Ah, there's the old cave letter. Spell cave in sequence. Spell cave in sequence. No, I don't think I will. We're just going to sit here and let it time out. All right, it is done. We have it lit up. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Next one is safe trap. But you see that the right lane is not lit up. So we're going to have to get that lit up by hitting all the question marks. There's one ball lock towards the uh, multi ball. Cool. Batman equipment. Okay. Hey, another ball lock. One more for a multi ball. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? That was a uh, unfortunate drain there, right down the middle. Shoot. Once again, let's wait and see what the mystery award is. Two now that just tells me which event's gonna start. Nope, we'll start the regular Gotham event, but. Left ramp, right ramp, center ramp. Ah. Oh well. Only eight seconds left. I'm not worried about it. We'll have that event lit up. Okay, uh, it is lit up again, by the way, that right ramp to start an event. We've got Three of them lit up, and it's that light extra ball. So we definitely want that event started. Got to aim better than that, though. Closer. No. Oh, careful. Jeez. Oh man. Alright, let's get it this time. No. Unbelievable. It again. Oh, I thought I had it that time. Man. Okay, let's hit it this time. There we go. All right. Of course, the award has moved off to something else this time. That's all right. Oh, 
shoot. Where are we at? 525k. Start the next event. Let's wait and see what the next uh, award is here. Eh, Two Face. Nope, nope, nope. We'll start the next event. There we go. that one die down. I don't like that one. To me, it's not worth it. We'll let that one finish off these last five seconds. We'll take stock. We have two more events to go. One is Light Extra Ball, and that's the one that's lit up right now, so let's uh, do that one if we can. Kickback, okay. Woo. Oh my god, that was dangerous. Hey, there we go. The bumper moved it off of a light extra ball, unfortunately. That's okay. Oh no, we are at light extra ball. And we got a multi ball ready. What's the award? Random award, three million. Eh, jeez. Hey, that puts us over the top for the 700. That works. We got a multi ball. Let's go. it with one second left. Did you see that? That was pretty hot. Oh, no, nah, I lost it immediately. Unbelievable. I had one more mode to go and it was the light extra ball mode. Holy crap. That could have really changed things around. Still got a pretty good score. We'll see what it is here in a sec. Hold on. Let's see. Ah, 1 billion. Nice. 1 billion, 34 million. Hey, that is a good game for me, even though I botched it at the end there. It could have been a lot better. This is Batman Forever. Awesome mod by Draken. Hope you learned something in the tutorial. Hope you had a good time. Thanks so much for watching, folks. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.